All right, and welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. Uh, today I have a Winslow PS40, and we're going to go through an igniter replacement on this unit. Uh, now, many pellet corn stoves uh, will have a very similar setup for the igniter element. Uh, the Winslow right here has the igniter element inside of a tube, and that is secured back here by a hose clamp. Uh, some models will have a, a mounting plate with a couple Phillips screws or a couple bolts that hold it in. Uh, but several pellet models that are out there are rear mount. Uh, there are a few that are front mount that are out there and some that are bottom mount. But I would say the most common is going to be a rear mount just like you see here on the Winslow PS40. And we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how that comes out and how it goes back in. So the first thing that I'm going to grab, and again, obviously any time that we're working with anything electrical in the unit like this, we always want to make sure that it's unplugged from the wall. As you can see here, I've opened up the side panels and the back panels just to give plenty of room back here, uh, which is going to make things a lot easier as we get this replaced and the new one back in. So again, uh, Winslow PS40, we just have a, uh, a hose clamp that's securing everything in place, a uh, flat head that's on here, otherwise I think that is a quarter inch uh, bolt, so we could use a quarter inch nut driver as well, but once that's loose, I'm just going to allow that hose clamp to kind of hang there and our igniter right here is loose in the unit. You will notice that that hose clamp went under this lip right here, this bottom lip, and went over the top. And it is important when we're securing this back in that we do not cover up this air hole that's in place between the housing and the actual igniter element itself. And we'll cover that again as we're putting that igniter back in. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to follow these lead wires all the way back. We're going to have to snip a couple of these, uh, of these little zip ties right here. To be able to get to the leads. So I'm just going to grab a snipper, come around the other side here. And always want to be careful, make sure we're not actually going to you know, snip one of the wires. I'm just grabbing the, the zip tie. Like that. Pull that one off, just like so. We'll continue to follow the wires over here. We've got another, we've got another zip on this side. Zip that off. And so it is important to make sure that we do zip tie these wires back together. We don't want them just kind of loosely hanging around back here. We don't want them touching anything that's hot. I'm going to just pivot this slightly. Give you a little bit better vantage point of the electrical. a little bit better there so we have two heat wires that are coming from this igniter element one of them goes right to the circuit board block here or, or our terminal block so I'm just gonna wiggle that off need be you can use pliers and the other one right here is a bullet connector and I'm making note here that this is going to the purple lead wire the wiring harness those are our two wires right there and at this point we can go ahead and we can pull this all the way out now i will say it does make it easier if we do have the auger motor removed during this process uh just kind of gets that out of the way as we put that in there but we can definitely take it out without that so that is the removal of a winslow ps40 igniter element we're just going to go ahead and put it right back in so, again, tight, tight in here with that auger motor in place, but we can get it in there correctly. So again, I'm basically going to push this tube until a point where it stops. You'll actually feel this kind of stop here, and that hole is going to, again, be exposed right there. And we want to make sure that that hole is left exposed, so I'm going to see to go ahead and follow our lead wires back here before I start zip tying anything or securing anything down. So again, our bullet connector went to the purple. The other one went to the block right here. There we go, just like that, on the bottom of the block. And then uh, purple wire right here for that bullet connector. Always give a nice push, want to make sure that we have a nice uh, secure connection in there. I'm going to go ahead and put one zip tie right here, kind of 
sew that part up. Just like that. Trim off the excess. Come back up here again. One of our one of our wires from our high limit switch right here is kind of tied into this, so we're gonna loop that right in there along with that. Grab another zip tie. Cinch it nice and tight. And snip off the excess like that. And I'm actually going to put one more wire tie right there because those wires, yeah, they feel a little loose. We just want to make sure everything is nice and uh, nice and tight, not moving around back there. Just like that. Good. And snip off the excess. I'm just going to pivot this back around as we look at that igniter mount back in there. So again, as we can see here on the country, we want to be able to have this hose clamp go over the top and it's holding this to this flange plate, but we want to make sure that we do not cover the hole. So right about there is where it's stopping, and that is where I'm going to tighten it up. So as I hold it right there, I'm just going to move this hose clamp up to the top, like so. I'm going to secure it right at the edge of that igniter housing tube. need to crank it down but we want them to have it nice and secure in there and just like that that is the igniter replacement on a Winslow PS40 again many other units are gonna be very similar with a uh, with a rear mount like that just might have a few different styles or, or variances with the mount but that would be the removal uh, of the igniter element and the replacement of it so thanks again for joining us for another session of Pelotech 101 and we'll see you soon